Hey guys, how's it going? And today I have something pretty cool in the new snapshot. This is a image slash video images to JSON text converter. So <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I got Ricardo Mios over here uh, doing the dance like he does. And you can see this CW images scoreboard incrementing. Now, the way this works is the newest snapshot actually allows, uh, I can't see anything to do tell raw at s text a color hashtag one two three four five six and it'll allow you to have your own custom hex colors so given that if we make a square use a square which is slash u two five eight eight we can make a square of any color we want and given that logic we can load an image downsize it and turn it into uh, a colors based off of the pixels into the hex and the unicode so i did just that and the coolest thing about it is there since you're using just tell raw you technically don't need a resource pack i think i have one on so i guess this won't make sense but you technically don't need a resource pack for this uh, uh you just need a data pack and the scoreboard cw images if you're doing an mp4 so let's go over how to use it very quickly um basically you're going to generate images that are tell raw and um it's pretty simple to use and I made a generator just for you guys on my website. So if you go to sites.google.com slash cloud code, uh, there is a new tab element called images to JSON. And I spent, I, <laughs> it took me about uh, 15 minutes to write this and took me about 12 hours to write this so that you guys could use it easily. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, so if you want to do an image, you go to choose file and you can go to whatever PNGs you have. Uh, and then you can specify a height and width. Uh, you can do any value, but the maximum height that you'll be able to see when you hit T in the chat bar is going to be 20. So that's why I just, I pre preset it to 16, but I have it set to 20 right now. Um, so let's make a width of uh, 16 because I know this image is kind of tall, so I don't want to distort it. FPS does nothing if it's an image. You click download text and it gives you it as a text file. I was doing something else before, but the embedded iframe wasn't allowing me to do what I wanted to do. So you just copy it from the text file that you downloaded and paste it into an MC function file because for some reason I couldn't get it to generate an MC function file. That's okay. So now if we type reload and we play function PayPal, and that was just me testing stuff, you're actually going to see this like Conglomeration, and that's what the image actually looks like just downscaled uh, it's kind of like a mixture of icons it's just a utility asset uh, anyways so that's how you do an image uh, now when you want to do a video keep in mind this is very important that you're watching this video for this that you set the height with an fps before you render it before you upload it because it's going to render when you upload it uh, just because it was easier that way um, so then I render yes, it says how many things it's going to try and render, 78, and then it counts down to zero and says vid loaded. Once it's loaded, you can download this, go here, copy this, paste all of it into a new one, and this will give you everything you need. Now, all you need to do is, if this is your first one, do scoreboard, objectives, add, CW images, dummy, and once you add it, then you just play the uh, file on repeat to some player. And this is gonna be even smoother than earlier because I made it 20 FPS. So um, also the FPS is like the sampling rate. Uh, so 20 obviously makes the most sense since we do 20 ticks per second, um, but we can change that to 30 FPS uh, if you wanted, but it would make the overall video slower because Minecraft can't play that fast. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it, super cool. Uh, now let me go into the code for one second, as much as all of you hate it. Um, so I wrote it on CodePen. I have no idea how to do HTML and CSS, really barely at all. Um, but there's actually, what, 200 some lines of code here. Um, and it's really confusing because the reason I have to do video instead of a GIF, you can convert a GIF to a video and then it'll play as a GIF like this, is because um, see, HTML can't handle GIFs. It can't if you upload a file of a GIF using this file thing here, uh, it will play the GIF in an image, but you cannot grab a single frame of the GIF very easily. 
It's very tough. So instead, I am having them upload a video, and you actually can extract videos and extract a single frame based on a second. Um, so the video was the most complicated part. The image was pretty easy. You just take the thing that they uploaded, you put it on a canvas, you scale the canvas down to match whatever the new value is. So new value divided by old value. Um, and then once you scale it down, you have to uh, convert each of the frame pixels on the image using uh, something. <laughs> Uh, it's been quite a while. I spent at least 12 hours on this. Uh, it was very painful, but it's very easy to do stuff now. Uh, to uh, upload and export all you want. So, pretty tough. This extract data is the part that turns it into Minecraft looking things. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys you find this useful and funny. You can throw it on any server without a resource pack and make fun of your friends or I don't know. <laughs> Now, I probably will make an update to it that will add, like, support for creating uh, GIF holograms. Um, but that takes a little bit more work, and I honestly have basically zero time right now, and I wasted most of it just making this thing. Um, so hopefully you like it. I'll try and add an update in the future to do some, like, holograms or, like, change where it's at. But for now, if you want to, you can just, you know, control H, all of the stuff that is here, and then just save all of this and mess with it that way. Anyways, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.